practice today or just kind of shoot around a little? Or? No, we had a very light day today. Yeah. Very light. You couldn't practice if you had to, really, with the guys here? You know, we, we're, we're practicing our minds right now <laughs> more than anything else. What's ailing LeBron and, and how much is it affecting his performance in the view? Uh, you know, a number of things, like most guys. You know, he got banged up a little bit last night, but uh, knowing him, he'll recover and be out there tomorrow. No percentage, no percentage discount uh, in terms of he's 80 percent. Oh, geez, you know, I mean, you just talk to him. You should probably ask him that. You know, again, he's 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 playing he's playing uh, heavy minutes, and he's and he's and he's. Obviously playing great, but you know he's going to take hits, and uh, you know, he works his way through it. Maybe. Thing that's affected him off and on through his whole career. What have you guys looked at to try to mitigate that? How important he is to you guys? LeBron is a is a very very professional guy that you know is. Not only does he study the game, but he studies the ways that he can improve himself physically and care for himself physically. You know, he's surrounded by uh, by great people who, who help him. And uh, you know, when you're playing that many minutes at that level of intensity, you know, you're going to experience things of that nature. It's not uncommon. And uh, he fought through it courageously last night, uh, and brilliantly, I might add. Um, and he'll be ready. What's Kyrie's status? Still working through the protocol, and uh, we're looking for uh, repeated good days so that we can comfortably, uh, the medical staff can comfortably put him back out on the court in a game situation. Considering the lead that you guys have with, with the potential reward, be better for, to not play him than to play him. And well, you know, we, we need Kyrie on the court, and, and we're not really thinking about resting him as much as we are thinking him about think, uh, thinking about him being healthy to play basketball. You know, we, we need him on the court, whether we're up 1-0 or 2-1 or 3-0. That, that that doesn't really mean anything because this is the conference finals. You know, there's not a lot of time, and there's not a lot of uh, room for error. At the same time, if it, you know, if we're, if it meant risking his long-term health, we're not going to do that. So, we are where we are right now. Yes, it'll be game time decision. David, LeBron was just asked about Tristan Thompson, and he said that he, he's a guy who should probably be a Cavalier for his entire career. There's no reason why he shouldn't be. How has Tristan proved his value to you um, this season? First of all, I think Braun is right, and and. Uh, Every team wants guys like that, that take on whatever role is asked and embrace it and do their very best to, to help the team in the, in the ways that the team needs. And you've seen Tristan do that this year. You know, we, when we brought Kev in, we asked uh, Tristan to be our uh, first big off the bench. I thought he had a great season. I thought he was very much in the running for sixth man of the year. Uh, and then when Kev went down, we we, uh, you know, we put him in the starting lineup, and he's been terrific. Uh, and doing the things that he does, and and ask, and, and doing whatever's asked of him, for the good of the team. Uh, and like I said, that's a guy you always want on your team. It certainly made sense considering your personnel when everyone was healthy. But were you ever tempted to like, you know, wow, I wish I could find some more minutes for this guy because the way he impacts. You're talking about from before. Well, we were doing pretty good before, so his minutes were appropriate. Short rotation, exhausting game last night. Is there a concern about even with being up 3-0 that this, there's an effect of attrition that could wind up happening? You know, realistically, uh, that's a viable point, but not in the Eastern Conference Finals, one step away from making the NBA Finals. Of the season and recently about Matthew's kind of unconventional path to the NBA. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's too simplistic a connection, but do you think that that does anything for a player's mindset, uh, whether it's him or in general, guys that have sort of an unconventional path? 
I don't know what it does exactly for his mindset because it's 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 exactly his mindset that's allowed him to to get to where he is to get where he has what it does in, in my mind is teach a lot of young kids the value of hard work and of uh, belief in yourself and of commitment to the task and commitment to team and of uh, being willing to sacrifice and do whatever it takes to be the best that you can be. I mean, I just, I just think that guy's a perfect example of those things. No, I don't sense that. No, obviously everybody wants Kai out there, and and we need him, you know. Uh, and we need Kev too, but he's you know he's, he's down for the season with that injury. Um, you know, guys are anxious for him to come back. Yes, because uh, he's an important part of this team, and and uh, uh, you know. I think it's more hopeful than hope than frustration or anxiousness. Let's put it that way. That's a better word. You know, and Dominic run defensively. Were there things last night that maybe got away from you a little bit more, or adjustments that were made by them, or were they just making shots? Uh, yeah, I thought they made more shots. You know, and and we might have missed a few coverages last night that perhaps we didn't in the first two games. The pace of the game last night was extremely high, and I'm, I'm sure that was. Uh, uh, part of it, um, you know, we're we're in there and we're 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 fighting on every play, uh, and uh, we know we got to be because there's, they are a dangerous offensive team. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we held them to 40 or 41 percent from the field, and that's not a bad number. Uh, they made some more shots, they made some more threes, than they made in the first two games. Thus, the score being higher. Uh, but you know we're go we're going to stay we're going to stay solid in what we're doing and, and you know little adjustments that we make for game in game you know we'll we'll, we'll do but uh, so far we're on the right track and you know we'll remain true to that. When Tristan gets you an extra possession in a tight game, what kind of thoughts do you have about the value of that at that moment? It's invaluable. You know, he's he's a he's a possession getter. That's that's exactly the, you know, the way we look at it. And uh, it comes from just never never ceasing effort and and commitment to task. Uh, and he makes a lot of big plays that you don't see on Sports Center, but we notice him. How about the pass he made last night? Winning play. The rebound and the pass. Just huge winning play. Huge. David, what has uh, Damon Jones brought to your group this year? Um, Damon's helped us, and uh, he's a great guy to have around. Really great guy to have around. Anything about it? Yeah, I think Damon's contributed contributed to us, and and it's, and you know, he's helped a lot of guys in a lot of little ways.